Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I want to apologise uh, for not being around over these last few weeks, but I've been ill, um, various things have been going on, um, but a lot of appointments, and um, I just haven't felt like doing anything at the moment. So I thought, I'm feeling a little bit better and I thought I'd come on and do this video and try and explain, you know, a little bit. I'm going to do um, my favourite lipsticks for autumn, winter last year, you know, uh, like November, December uh, 2017, and then January up until now. Um, so we'll start with the dark ones. Um, I've been wearing a lot of these shades um, at the moment. Um, this one is one of these Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks. It's number 45, 45 sorry, and it's called Escapist. I'm not going to try all of these on because um, some of them really do stain. I shall give you some swatches on the back of my hand. You can see how dark that one is. Uh, these are lovely, they stay really nice, even though they're matte, um, they don't um, dry your lips out. And then there's another one here uh, from Colour Stay Sensational, which I think is, I think is Maybelline, isn't it? Yeah, Maybelline, and it's 338 Midnight Plum. So that's one. I'll pop that one on. I have got on a nude lipstick at the moment. It is one number seven, and it is called something latte, spice latte. So you can see that on there. So I'll just wipe that off, and I'll get a tissue and dry that off. So this is Midnight Plum. And I'll show you at the end the lip liners that I've been wearing. There we go. And then we have another um, in this shade and it's called Deep Deep Plum, and this is number seven lipstick. It's a little bit lighter, that one's, yeah, that one's Deep Plum. It is a lot lighter, actually. It's nowhere near as dark as that other one. This is 107, and it's Kate Moss lipstick. Um, it's one of her signed lipsticks, and it's the really dark one as well. Well it, it's dark but nowhere near this is I think this is the darkest one that I've got out I think. I have I do have other dark ones on a par with that one and then we have a, another matte and it's called Divine Wine and and this one is a Maybelline one 975 And then we have a Estee Lauder number 36 Black Cherry. I don't think this will be um, on sale anymore, but it is one of my favourite lipsticks. I mean, it's very much like some of these around here. I mean, and uh, you can sort of match them up. And then we have a, what's this called? This, this one is a 106 Lovely Rouge HD Advanced Lip Colour. And it is, it's an American brand, what is it? Oh, Milani. It's called Milani, it's on there. Let me just wind it up on the bottom. 
and that's a really really pretty one and that's there this is um, this one doesn't stay on your lips very long that one unfortunately uh, so that is those I'll wipe those off and get my next section out <laughs> So I hope everyone's okay. This one is a um, velvet matte lipstick or lips lip crayon rather, and it's a um, Primark one. And uh, can't find this. Can't find the name of this one at all. Um, so really nice lipstick or lip crayon really nice really pretty color as well right let's take this one off that I've got on I think well I'll put it on my lip on my teeth and I think we'll try this one looks different on your lips than it does on the back of your hand really really pretty I love it I wanted to see if I can find some more and I couldn't find any if anybody is a regular Primark, Primark goer can you tell me if they're still selling these because um, I've only you know I haven't got a huge amount well, I've got all that left but you know um it won't last long if I keep going with it. <laughs> um, and then we have a pink lipstick, which I've been wearing pink. Um, it's 05, and that's a Kate Moss lipstick from Rimmel. Is it Rimmel? Yes, it is Rimmel. And it's a pink. It's a lovely pink. And I think that's, a, you know, a bit of a winter pink. And this one is a Sonia Cash. This was a, a present from a friend ages ago. It's a US brand. Um, and the colour is called Violetta. Oh, wrong end. I always do that. There you go. It's that one there. So pretty. And then we have a bite lipstick uh, from I don't know where, what it's from. Oh, Bites Beauty, it's called. <coughs> and it's called Vento. And that's a pretty pink too. It's more of a, a bit more of a paler pink. But I ha with the right makeup, I have been wearing it, and it does look really pretty. And then we have one of these, another one of these Superstay Maybelline Matte Ink lipsticks, and this one is called Lover. And it's on one of these. Really pretty, really nice. And then we will go on to reds. Can't leave my reds out because I have been wearing reds an awful lot um, over this last season. You know, I was never, I could never a red lipstick wearer during the day. And I very rarely wore red lipsticks because I could never find the one that I liked, that really I thought that suited me. Um, this one is another Bite Beauty lipstick, and this one's called Tannin. And this is the one I've been wearing a lot, and you've all been giving me compliments on how much it suits me. Now, I'm not putting a lip liner on, so please, please excuse the untidy edge if I get one.
There you go. That's the one that you all seem to like me wearing. And then there's another Superstay lipstick. And this one is called Pioneer, number 20. Sorry, excuse the sniffing. Oh, annoying me. <laughs> there you go. That is another gorgeous, gorgeous red. And, then, and again, it doesn't dry your lips out. Ah, oh, lipstick on my teeth. And then these are from Maybelline. Um, one's a little bit more on a pinkier shade of red. I'm not sure if it's that one. I think it might be that one. And then the other one is a more burgundy shade of, oh, what colour was that? That one was called Light It Up. That's that one. And this one is called Red, Red Essential. Yeah, and this one's the more burgundy red, which I tend to wear more than the brighter one. And then we have a L'Oreal Paris uh, lipstick and it is called um, Blazing Sangria. Um, I couldn't get this in this country. I had to get it online from the US. Uh, I saw a girl doing a video from the US and she was wearing this lipstick and she wore it a lot and I, I absolutely loved it. And when, I didn't know if I'd like it on myself when I got it home, but I do. And it's that one there. And as you can see, that is all I have left. <laughs> and it was a quite a big lipstick, um, much bigger than um, the ones that we tend to uh, get. Right, that's the reds. Oh, and I've stained the back of my hand. Look here. <laughs> oh, I'll keep rubbing. It'll come off. There we go. I think I've got most of it off. And then I'm going to leave this one on because this will stain my lips. Um, and then we've gone, um, these last couple of days, it's been a little bit warmer here. And I've gone on to, sorry, can't stand lipstick on my teeth. There we go. Um, we've gone on to sort of um, peachy colours. This one is called Flirt. And it's from the Avon Colour Trend. I've had this one a while as well, but it's one of those colours that you can you can match up pretty easily if you wanted a shade like this. And this is peachy colour. But these will be going back in my makeup bag again um, because the weather has changed over again. Then we have another Milani one, it's called Ignition. This is from the US and it was they, both of these were sent to me, um, the dark one, remember the dark one? They were sent to me in a parcel quite a while ago. Shouldn't really show these because you can't get them, but they are my favorite. What, what this is, is my favorites, not lipsticks that I'm saying you should buy. Um, so don't let me, don't let, get the idea that I'm saying you must buy these, you must buy these. I am not. These are my favourite lipsticks for the season that have just gone or still having. So that's that one. It's a little bit lighter than that one, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. But yeah, I wore those over the, the couple of nice days that we had. Um, right, and we'll do lip liners now. Just keep an eye on my battery because I've been having trouble with my batteries wearing down quickly. I have bought some new ones, but I mixed up the whole the old I mean, battery that I had that was cutting out on me. I mixed it up with the new ones, and now I don't know which one it is. So, <laughs> um, oh, we have some nudes to do that I forgot about. This one is called Cinnamon Spice. I've been wearing nudes quite a lot um, this season too. 
that's quite a dark, a dark nude. And then we've got Honey Bloom. These are these are all number seven. I'm into number seven lipsticks for a lot of my nudes. That one's a real real nude there. Um, this one is Soft Earth. Soft Earth. Really pretty. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got Plum 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 Youthful, I think it's called. <laughs> That's this is like a plummy plummy shade, but it's on the nuder side. So that's some of the nudes that I've been wearing. There's quite a few more, but I could go on for quite a while. So, but well, I think you nudes are nudes, aren't they? I think you just get varying shades of nude. Um, sorry, a bit thick. Um, so right. Oh, I should have put these in order, but I haven't. Um, let me just try. Just trying to. Put these into order of shade of um, colours that uh, right we have the dark ones first um, this is an easy liner for lips from Jordana and it's called Cabernet. This is a US brand but you can buy these quite cheaply on eBay. And they oh, and they are the same lip liners because I've had um, some gifted to me and I've also bought um, refills of them um, from eBay and they are the same. So, so that's called Cabernet. That goes with the dark ones really goes well with the dark ones. That. This is a sleek um, twist up pencil and it's 651 current. So that's Cabernet, that's current. Then we have another um, Jordana uh, easy liner. This is called Plush Plum. It's a really pretty one. I sometimes wear this with this red. Um, it does change the colour of the lipstick a little bit, um, but it still looks really pretty. This is an MUA Intense Colour. Um, it says it's an eyeliner, um, but it's not. It is a lip liner and it's called Berry Wine. The texture is all wrong for an eyeliner. It is definitely lip. There you go. The lip liner and that is called berry wine and then we have another MUA and we have brooding plum and that also looks quite nice with this red lip can I just blow my nose oh, sorry Sorry, I, I. And then we'll go on to the nudes. We have a another Jordana, and it's tawny. This is um, more of a brown, brownie shade, but it's still quite a nude, a nude one, which is on the darker side of nude. 
which goes with some of those lipsticks a little bit better that I showed you. And this is an NYX um, lip liner pencil in the colour... Um, 702. The name has rubbed off, but it is number 702. No, it's wrong way up, isn't it? There you go. And that is a darker one as well. And then we have the, the really nude lip liner, and this is number seven. Uh, precision pre precision line lips you got this right precision lip pencil there you go I've got it now and it is just called nude and that is just a light nude lip pencil the harder you press the more you put on the darker you can get it obviously um, and then we've got another uh, purple shade, and this one is a Giordana um, pencil, but it's what it's a hard pencil that you sharpen. And uh, it's a lovely purpley colour that goes with a lot of those dark lipsticks. Missed that one. <laughs> and this one is a wet and wild pencil and it is called Plumberry and I missed this one as well so and it is a hard pencil like that and it is another lovely lovely shade of purple I have been known to wear some of these lip liners as lipsticks um, and put a little bit of lip gloss over, over you know a lip balm I don't like lip gloss. I use this. Um, it's an Avon um, Royal Jelly lip balm. And then we have a red lip liner that I use. Um, and this is called Red Drama and it is an MUA pencil. There you go. And then we have the the I have quite a few orange shade lip liners, but this is a gosh pencil, and the colour is um, flirty orange, and this is the one that I um, go to the most of when I use the orange shades. There you go. So that is everything that I have to show you. Um, but going going back to you know why I've been away for a few weeks, you know um, I really got sort of bogged down. Um, I wasn't feeling well, you know. Um, body wise I wasn't feeling well and also um, I wasn't feeling he quite well here um, not saying that you know I had a nervous breakdown anything stupid like that uh, well no, it's not stupid it's um, sorry I said that I, I came out wrong um, I apologize for that oh yeah I'm sorry um, I just haven't felt well um, I ha I just haven't I haven't been out I haven't been out anywhere for weeks. Um, I just well except for hospital appointments. Um, but then my friends taken me um, because I haven't felt like driving my car. Um, I haven't felt like interacting with anyone. Um, I just I just felt so down. Um, and now I seem I seem to be coming back out of it now, um, but I'm still not hundred um, percent. And I do apologise to all of you that make videos, and I and, and the people that 
I follow and I haven't been watching your videos, not a lot of them, I haven't been keeping up. Um, I haven't, if I have watched them, I've not made comments and I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that you get into, I don't know, I don't know what you want to call it, but I just wasn't, you know, like it's hard to, it's hard to explain. Um, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, I mean, I do suffer from depression. I, I do take medication for that. Um, but it seemed like everything was getting on top of me and I just needed to break away from everything and just recharge my batteries, I think. I think that's what it was. Um, and hopefully, uh, in the few weeks that I've been off, I hope that I have done that and, um, you know, I will continue to, to feel better in myself and with myself. Um, you know, I was dwelling a lot on being on my own. Um, I know I've got the boys. One boy lives with me, one lad lives with me, Robert, and the other one comes home about twice a month from uni. But it's not the same as having someone of your own. Um, and I've been dwelling on that. And I know Steve, before he died and before he got totally ill, he said to me that I wasn't to be on my own. I was to find someone else. But that is the furthest thing from my mind. I don't want anybody else. But on the other hand, I don't like this feeling of being on my own. You know, with nobody, nobody to have a hug. You know, nobody to sort of cuddle up to. You know, and and share share things. Um, you know, I can share things with the boys, but it's not the same as sharing it with, you know, a partner. Um, but I just cannot go there. I just cannot even bear the thought of going in that direction at all. Um, I don't know if I ever will. Um, Steve would be so annoyed at me for not doing so, but... <sighs> You know, it's you ha we had that connection and we were soulmates, um, really soulmates, um, really. Um, we were so close to each other um, that it feels it feels wrong for me to do that, um, even though I've been told to do it. Um, it just doesn't feel right. Anyway, enough of my moaning and groaning and carrying on. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try and get some more made. I have no videos made whatsoever in, in my stash. I usually have a list of videos made, ready to upload to YouTube. Um, I hadn't got any of those done, so I couldn't slip your video in like that. Um... You know, I, it, it, this, this sort of um, depression type of thing. I've been coming on for a few weeks before I disappeared. Um, I think actually, maybe maybe months to six weeks, I think, before I disappeared, I wasn't feeling myself, um, you know, so I hadn't got the videos stacked up to, to slip in while I was away. Um, so I do apologise for that, but... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon. So bye for now.